Hi guys, I'm going to do a little book review today of the book called Once by Morris Gleitzman. Hope I've pronounced that correctly. Now, this was a book I was sent a few weeks ago. I, um, I had it in my collection and I, um, I've been meaning to read it. Now, I posted a couple of pictures on Twitter actually of my bookshelf and um, this was a book people kept commenting on. They kept saying, it's an absolutely fantastic book, you've got to read it, it's a really heartfelt story. So. Once I finished um, Simply the Quest by Maz Evans, I thought I'd give Once a go, and it didn't disappoint. It's a book focusing on a young boy and his experience, essentially, during the, um, the Holocaust. He is a boy who is from Poland. He's a boy who initially was um, in an orphanage, an um, a orphanage that essentially wasn't um, inhabited by Jews but he was um, he was sort of staying there under the radar due to an agreement his parents had had with um, with the um, lady who ran it. Now um, the story centres around this boy's view of the world and perhaps a sort of naive innocent and youthful view of um, the world in those times. There is huge amounts of discrimination against the Jews there's a um, there's a, the Jewish people. There is a um, essentially there's a lot wrong with the world and a lot of um, a lot of difficulties that he's finding himself in. His parents have um, they have left him. He doesn't know where they are, and I think we can all sort of read into what's happened to them. But again, he he isn't sure. The boy is um, he leaves the orphanage on a quest to find his parents, and he's. He's absolutely fixated with finding them, reuniting his family. He thinks that he knows the Nazis are burning books, but he doesn't quite know why. And as the story transpires, he essentially falls into the um, the care of a kind dentist who is trying to protect and look after um, a handful of other Jewish children. It's a really interesting read. It is one that tugs at the heartstrings. It's an exciting um, story that you're certainly rooting for the main character but it is um, it is one that just gets you thinking and I think we all know about the events of um, sort of late 1930s early 1940s um, Europe but to see it from a sort of innocent child's perspective really does open your eyes I think it's one that I'd want to um, I'd want to leave for sort of year six children I think um, there are some quite tricky issues that come up in it and um, it is something that does perhaps require that slightly elevated level of maturity to um, to really comprehend the sort of ins and outs of it and put it into perspective with some of the sort of world history but it's a really good read it's a short read I think in terms of pages it's um, so it's about 150 pages and I read it in a day or you know, like over the course of a couple of evenings. So it's a really good book once. Um, I believe there's some other books in this series. And yeah, I really enjoyed it. It um, gets you thinking, it's thought provoking, and it's an exciting story. I, um, yeah, I've um, moved on to a slightly different book now um, A Monster Calls um, by uh, Stephen Ness, I believe. Um, I'm definitely going to pop a book review up about that. That's one I found particularly exciting. That's one that really did get me thinking. And again, it's another one that tugs on the heartstrings. Really exciting read, but um, quite a thought-provoking read as well. Quite hot in here. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. As usual, um, give it a thumbs up if you like it. And um, yeah, do hit subscribe. More the merrier. Thank you, guys.